Are you tired of bad DSLR audio? Syncing external audio in post? Bad reception with a shotgun mic? Well, a Saramonic SRWM4C might be just what you're looking for. Stick around. Wait a minute. I don't have I don't have to clap now. <laughs> Running everything through this uh, lavalier mic right into the uh, EOS R. So I uh, picked up this uh, Ceramonic SR WM4C and I wanted to try it out. Uh, I saw on um, Facebook Marketplace somebody had it for sale for I think it was $65. I was like $65. Looks brand new. And it was. It was brand new. I, I got it and unpacked it. And I'm like, oh, it looks pretty, you know, pretty chintzy. It's got everything you need. It's made of plastic. It's, uh, it's got a volume button. It's got different channels. It's got uh, different clips to hook it onto your belt, hook it onto your camera. The big uh, wobbly uh, antennas look a little funny, but, you know, whatever. It gets it done. I mean, I've got it behind me. No one knows it's there. So I can mic up. Um, for years, since I've been doing YouTube, I would do external audio, record everything separately because audio is so important that you know when I first started making YouTube videos, my audio was absolute garbage. It just sounded terrible, and you can excuse video sometimes when it's bad. But when, when, when it's unlistenable, when you can't even listen to the, to the audio, it, it, you can't excuse that. So for, for years, I used um, an H4N Zoom, which, you know, works, you know, really good. It's a great audio recorder. And you've got XLRs. A lot of times what I would just use it as is I just set it on a tripod off to the side, a little tripod out of the, out of the camera and capture my audio that way. Uh, for a time, I was using a, a boom and a, a Rode video mic hooked up to it. And uh, I would sometimes run it into the, into the camera's preamps. But a lot of times, I just used the, the H4N. And having your separate audio, it, there, it, is, it has its place. It is, it is nice. You can do a lot with um, the H4N recordings. But... I have noticed that the uh, EOS R has some pretty good e uh, preamp in it. it. It records the audio fairly well, um, so and it's and it's very adjustable, which is nice. So anyway, I got this microphone and I wanted to give it a try. I've used it several times so far. Uh, there's several videos out there that I've done using it. Uh, one with my um, Osmo Pocket, actually, I have it hooked up to, and another one on the EOS R. So uh, I already, it, it works really, really well. And I thought, you know, I should make a video about this mic because people, people are always wondering about getting decent audio on their videos. I mean, you can have a $30,000 cinema camera and if you're recording audio into a weak microphone on the camera, it's, it's probably not going to sound that great. So if you can get a Decent sounding mic, a decent sounding lav. And that's that's half the battle right there. So I just want to jump on real quick and uh, talk about the Ceramonic. You can get them brand new. I believe they're like ninety two dollars. I'm gonna I'm gonna chuck the price up right here on Amazon. But uh, you know, Scope Marketplace, Scope eBay. Sometimes people buy these mics and uh, they don't know how to set them up. Uh, how to, you know, to sub and I, I made a video actually on how to um, set a shotgun mic up on your Canon camera. I, I, it was specifically for Canon, but it would work on a lot of different models. I'll link that too right here. Setting your audio is it's really just watching your your noise level before the mic goes on. If you've got noise before the mic goes on, when you turn that mic on, the noise is going to be absolutely horrible. And you're just going to have a hum and a buzz through the through the whole video, so that's a whole separate thing. Um, so I assume this person bought this and just couldn't get it to work or just didn't use it. I don't know why. It, it's a it's a really nice unit. 
Um, what you're seeing here, this is what it looks like on the camera. I mean, it's, 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 it's a pretty big unit. I, um, I have it on my uh, Osmo Pocket uh, setup. I have a little rig for my Osmo Pocket. And, you know, it looks a little goofy. It's pretty big, but it gets the job done. That, that little pocket becomes a nice little portable cameraman because it will track you as you walk around. Uh, that's another one of video I'm going to be doing soon. I want to do a, uh, an Osmo Pocket video where um, you can use it as your portable cameraman. I also uh, I have a uh, an Osmo Action too, and I wanted to put I, I did I did actually have this microphone mounted onto it, and mm, it was a little big on there. The problem was I had, I purchased the uh, Saramonic um, audio connector for the Osmo Pocket, and uh, it was junk. Don't buy it. Buy the Sonoba one. It's the only one that works on the Osmo Action as far as I know. So I've ordered one of those and it's on its way. Anyway, good little mic. Um, you can see the different parts that come with it. Uh, get a good look at it. Show a little overhead view. Um, if you're just looking to clean up your audio, get something decent. You're tired of using a shotgun mic. I mean, shotgun mics definitely have their place. But, you know, if you're here and you keep walking back farther and farther and farther and farther and your audio is going to change, you're not going to have as crisp or clean of audio. And that goes for even if I have my H4N sitting up here on this boom, which is usually how I have it, just out of, just out of the video range. And if I move around, you can, you can hear the changes in the audio. With the lavalier mark, mic'd up on you, you're audio doesn't change. I can get up and walk across the room as you saw in the beginning of the video. I was way down the other end of my house, down the stairs talking. So, and there was no discernible difference. I've actually taken this and gone outside through a steel door 50, 60 feet away from the camera and very, very clear. So the reception on this mic, on uh, this wireless mic is actually really, really good. I didn't try like the 200 foot thing, 300 foot thing, because it, that doesn't fit my needs. If I'm, if I'm 40 feet away from this thing, that would be a long ways because most of my stuff is within 10 feet. So, and I know it works easily at 30 feet, 35 feet, 40 feet, no breakup through doors and walls. So I can speak to that. Is it professional grade? No, it's not. It's not professional grade, it's plastic. Um, and not like ABS, my SLR body plastic, it's plastic, but yeah, you know, whatever. If, as long as you're dainty with your equipment, you're not throwing it around, you're not smashing it around, you're just using it in your studio or you're using it out to do a video. You're really, you know, not beating on it too much. I, I suspect it should last. I've made several videos with it. And like I said, I had it hooked up to my uh, to my pocket setup and moved it around. I, I don't know what else you would do with it. I mean, I don't know if I would chuck it in a bag and then throw a camera on top of it. I don't know if I'd do that, but so far the electronics are holding up good. The batteries last a long time too. These are the batteries that came with it. And I'm pretty sure the person who bought it maybe used it once or twice because the batteries were open. And these are still the original batteries. And uh, yeah, I haven't had a loss in signal or anything. I'm waiting for that. I'm going to be doing a video one of these days, pop it in and go, hmm, no audio. My batteries died. So very easy to uh, change the batteries on it. Uh, like I said, the, the cut-ins, it's, it, it's a nice little unit. Uh, if you have any questions about setting up the mic, feel free to, uh, you know what to do, comment below. Uh, it would be great if you could like the video. It would be awesome. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do have some decent videos here and there. It's, uh, I have a quite eclectic mix of videos out there. I try to make videos about things that, uh, well, interest me. Things I might have even had a problem with. If I've had a problem with it, it means somebody else did too. So, anyway, if you're up to it, give the old Ceremonic a try. I like it. It's a, it's a pretty nice system. Uh, they make okay stuff. That adapter for the Osmo Action, though. No bueno. It is no bueno. <laughs> anyway, 
I hope you guys uh, have a great day and you learned something. And, uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.